Hey everybody, hope you're doing great today. This is Paul from This Way to the Aquarium. Today I'm going to show you the current progress of my fish room. It's been a slow but steady process. I'm getting there. I'm hoping to get done by the end of this month. We're here in September. I have a few more things to do to finalize everything, but I'm hoping to get the stand set up, the tank set up. But prior to doing that, I'm working on running a central air system in here that will supply air to all my tanks. And the reason why I want to use a central air system is because with a central air, I can save money versus running an individual filter on each tank. Those individual filters, power filters, or separate pumps for each tank get expensive. You've got to have enough outlets to power each of those pumps or each of those filters, or you need a couple of different plug strips and you're running a lot of extension cords. In my case, the outlet is over on one corner over here. I've got to have enough outlets to feed a few different things, but I don't want to throw a lot of plugs on the power source at the same time because then you'll run into issues with overusing a circuit and you can run the risk of tripping a breaker. So best bet for me is just gonna, I'm gonna run a central air system, a central air pump. I bought my air pump from Aquarium Co-op. I bought some valves as well that'll plug into the piping that here I'll show you in a minute. So basically with this central pump, I'll be able to run airline tubing from a pipe that's going around the perimeter of this area over here. And that will feed air to sponge filters, which will provide biological filtration as well as some small circulation to the water in the tanks. So let's take a look at the setup I've got going on right now. So the fish room is a bit of a mess. It's not in its final state right now. Basically I put up this insulation along the concrete walls just to help keep it a little warmer in this area over here. It does get pretty cold in the winters. And for the air, as you can see, I've run three quarter inch PVC pipe around the perimeter. It goes over there. I did drop it down a little bit over in that corner over there, just because there is a gas pipeline over here. I didn't want to get too close to that or interfere with that. And it goes around this side over here where it's a little more on the unfinished side. So since this insulation is directly on concrete wall, as you can see over here, this is the, this is the concrete wall here. This is the insulation. So I don't have any wood framing on the, directly on the concrete wall. So I ended up mounting the tubing up to some wood pieces. I stuck in between the ceiling, ceiling panels over there. And that's just gonna hold it up and out of the way and I'm zip tying it to those bracket attachments over there around the perimeter. So I do need to bolster this a little bit here. You can see it's sagging. I'll add another bracket as well as zip tie. And I possibly will look at adding something over here where basically I could support this, getting some sort of pipe support and screwing it into the, one of the wall panels. So I have not powered this up yet. I have not plugged it in and run the air. It's actually not complete. As you can see right now, it's actually a complete closed loop. I need to cut into it. So somewhere around here, because my power, my switch, light switch here, and my power outlet is over here, I'm gonna cut into over here at a T and then drop it down, drop down some PVC. I'm going to convert from PVC to PEX then, because I've got a PEX pipe here. Some of the PEX connectors are going to be easier to plug into the into the air pump connector so I plan on doing that conversion over there. Some of the tools that I use to put this pipe up here basically a drill just to drill under the wood there to attach the corner brackets and I did buy a pipe cutter over here as you can see and this basically helps me cut the pipe. It does a pretty good job of cutting the plastic pipe. And you can see these joints over here they have some yellow coloring around it and that's just the PVC glue, PVC cement that I used to glue the joints together. So this is the one I use. It's an OD Flow Guard Gold All Weather One Step CVPC cement and it just basically anytime anywhere I've got an elbow joined up together I sealed it up and then once I add that T in there I'm going to seal it up as well with the same stuff. And that should help me get a tight air seal so that way there's no leakage on the corners. This is the actual pump over here that I'll be using. It's a Meadow Blower LA45C. As I mentioned earlier, I purchased it from Aquarium Co-op. 
it should be enough. I'm going to have a back wall over here of tanks. As you can see, I've already got the, the wood pieces over here that I painted black. And then the tanks will be basically placed along this wall. The wood pieces here are 10 feet. And so we'll see. I still have to figure out the, the logistics of how the tanks are going to be placed. What size of the tanks. I've got a bunch of different sizes of tanks. So that'll be my first wall, my first phase of the fish room. And then after that, I planning on putting another another section over here I still have to secure the wood and stuff for that but that'll be that'll be a phase two for my fish room so on this first phase of the fish room that I'm planning I probably have seven to eight tanks the final count is going to depend on the size of the tanks that I have I got a couple right now we'll pick up some more so this will more than power those tanks and then as I add tanks to this fish room this this air pump here will be able to handle all that. I did purchase some valves from Aquarium Co-op that will be inserted into the piping over here and basically will give me an ability to drop the lines down from there and then go down to the individual tanks. So two thought processes I'm still thinking, should I drop a couple of lines and then each point and then have a splitter closer to the tanks or will I feed each tank individually? So it's, I'm still thinking about that, still in the planning process. So these are the metal air valves that I purchased also from Aquarium Co-op. Five in each pack, got two packs. These are what are called self-tapping valves. Basically you'll, you'll drill a hole into there and then drill these in. They, they create a seal as well too. And that way it also has a control. Basically you can open it up or close it in order to get more air, less air as you need. So I'll install those and I'll do, a, I'll do a video in the future where I demonstrate the installation of those air valves. So that's my current plan for this fish room. So I've still got a few things to do to get this ready. Fish room gets closer to completion and at completion I'll share some more videos. I'm going to show a video of how I've set up the stand. The stand that I'm using for my fish tank is going to be able to hold multiple fish tanks. I'm basically using two by six boards on cinder blocks and I did paint them to make them look a little better, look a little more presentable. So that's all I have for this video. Hope you enjoy it. Please hit that like button. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next video.